Hey, what's going on everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I want to show you a new 3D printer enclosure that we just got done developing for a 3D printer that just hit the market. It's pretty awesome. Check this out, guys. Okay, so this is the new enclosure that we've made for the Bamboo A1 3D printer. And if you're not uh, familiar with what we do here at Clearview Plastics, is we basically make tailor fit enclosures for 3D printers. So we take all the measurements from the printer and build an enclosure around it so it's got perfect fit and uh, in, it helps the printer function a little bit better. So overall, here's the size of the enclosure. We got 19 and a half inches wide. We got 23 and a half inches deep, 23 and a half inches tall. Uh, and again, this is tailor fit for the Bamboo Lab A1, and so this enclosure is only for this. However, if you have a different printer and you need an enclosure for that, we make enclosures for a wide variety of printers, uh, including uh, for brands like Bamboo, Prusa, Creality, a whole mix of different brands and different model uh, 3D printers. So uh, back to this enclosure, <clears throat> some of the features that we've set up with this one. Uh, the first one I want to tell you about is our new frameless door design. And so uh, as you can see here, there's no framing up on top. So that really gives you a lot more access to work with the 3D printer to do maintenance. So the next feature that I want to tell you about is our cool air intake on the back of the enclosure. And the purpose for this cool air intake is to feed cool air to the electronics of the 3D printer. And that cool air uh, helping the electronics stay cool means that your printer will last longer, the electronics will last longer, and it means that you can actually print with a warmer temperature inside of the, uh, of the enclosure itself. Uh, the next portion, a lot of the bamboo users are concerned about uh, how the bamboo poop is managed. So we have what we call the bank shot bamboo poop solution. So it's super easy to set up. It's a, it's a 3D printable part uh, that just slides right onto the extension of the little poop slinger there. And, uh, and, and it's a little wedge that causes the bamboo poop to bounce off of it and just bounce right down. It's super consistent, super easy to set up, and uh, it pretty much works every time, yeah. so. Um, and the next thing that everyone wants to know about, is it compatible with the AMS? So you can see that I've got an AMS uh, mounted up here. There's actually a couple different solutions as far as the way that filament is dealt with in this enclosure. And we're pretty stoked about that we've got this uh, uh, dialed in. So, um, uh, you know, the first uh, one that I'll talk about is we've got our internal spool holder here. And that internal spool holder has a lot of features, like a lot of great things about it. And the fact that it keeps your filament dry and especially clean, so you get less nozzle clogs and your filament will stay drier, drier for longer uh, by having it inside of the enclosure. So the next option that you have is we've also set up a mount for the stock spool, uh, 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 the stock spool arm that comes with the printer. So in that way, you can actually have a top mount spool and it, have it fed down into the uh, into the print enclosure, and that's a super easy setup. Now, <clears throat> for the AMS, uh, a couple of little details on this. A, the AMS is uh, totally compatible. Uh, you can either feed it from the side here, that's a little bit more traditional, and with the, if you feed it from the side, you can actually have this panel mounted on the left or the right side. So, so if you prefer to feed it from the side, then it's a pretty easy option. Now, you can also feed it from the top. This is the way that we have it set up at the moment, uh, as long as you have the option for quarter inch panels. So uh, the quarter inch panels are a thicker option panel over eighth inch. They're a little bit uh, thicker, a little bit more robust, and can support the weight of this AMS unit. So. For, uh, uh, for the option of getting this AMS uh, fed through the top, you can see that we are using different Bowden tubes. So we've uh, kind of assembled what's called uh, an AMS extension kit. And the AMS extension kit, there's two uh, ver uh, parts to it. We've got longer Bowden tubes. So the Bowden tubes uh, uh, that Bamboo supplied are not particularly long. We need some extra length. And you can actually use these uh, longer Bowden tubes for the side 
mount as well or even if you don't even have our enclosure this is super handy in case you want to be able to mount your ams somewhere that is not necessarily super duper close to the printer maybe you want to mount it on a shelf or otherwise so uh, the first part of this AMS, AMS extension kit is our Bowden tube kit. Uh, the second part is the power cord is not particularly long for the AMS light. And so that needs an extension as well. So we have these on special order. Uh, as of the end of the year, December 2023, uh, we'll have these in uh, in about in about mid January, so if you order this enclosure, we'll ship that right away, and then we'll follow up with the uh, with the power cord. If we're talking after January twenty twenty uh, January twenty twenty four rather, then uh, no worries, you'll get the power cord with your order as well. So the idea is you'll feed your power cord down through here through this wire grommet and to the back of the printer. Super easy setup. It is not going to take any like hard modification, you're not gonna have to know electronics, it's gonna be plug and play, and you'll be able to set it up in about five minutes. So the next option I'd like to talk about is our internal spool holder. And I've touched on this before, but the reason that you would want to mount a spool inside of the enclosure is then you get a nice, close, direct feed to the printer. And it's a super easy setup and it's easy to change out your filament and in, in, in it just is on in one central location so it's super convenient you know you actually get a couple other benefits out of doing an internal spool holder in that uh, it keeps your spool uh, filament nice and clean so it get, so it's, it stays dust free so that the the uh, like i said the enemy of 3d printing is dust and so if you have a dusty uh, filament going into the extruder and into the nozzle eventually that leads to nozzle clogs and so like with us we actually enclose all of our 3d printers inside of our print farm and we rarely if ever have gotten a nozzle clog So the next thing I wanted to touch on for an accessory that we have for our 3D printer enclosures are the filter options that we have uh, to help keep your workspace clean and healthy. And so the idea here is we're filtering the air that we're 3D printing because again, we have off-gassing from the 3D printer and uh, some filaments also just have uh, fumes and can stink a little bit as we're printing. So the idea is uh, we're, we've got a, a powered fan. This is all super easy to set up. These are on super easy DC barrel connectors. You don't have to be a wiring genius to set this up. And with this particular filter, this is our exhausting HEPA filter with carbon, uh, with carbon filtration as well. So the, uh, as far as how the, uh, the filters work is the HEPA, just like your vacuum cleaner at home, is used to filter out dust and debris. So if there's any off-gassing from your 3D printer in here, that uh, HEPA filter will help catch uh, uh, some of the uh, particulate that is, that is happening. And so as you pump the air out into your workspace, into your living space, that helps it keep a, a little bit cleaner here as well. Now the other portion is the uh, carbon or the charcoal filter uh, uh, function. And the charcoal and, uh, uh, filter is used for reducing the smells and fumes that come off of, uh, uh, that, that happen in 3D printing. So uh, many, uh, many, many 3D filaments don't have too much of a stink, but especially if you're printing with ABS, the charcoal and uh, the charcoal filtration is is absolutely a big help to reduce the smells and the fumes coming off of the the, the uh, 3D printer. So, uh, the other option that we have is this recirculating filter. Uh, this is also a HEPA filter. And uh, in that this this one also has carbon media uh, built into it as well. Now, as I mentioned, this one exhausts the fan, the air out, and this so this one keeps the internal temperature of the enclosure a little bit cooler. So if you're printing with PLA or PETG or TPU, then this is probably 
the, a good option for you to have. And uh, now, if you're printing with ABS or ASA or high temp materials, advanced or advanced filaments, then this one is typically the better idea. So this one is a recirculating filter that recirculates the air inside the enclosure. It keeps the warm air inside the enclosure so that you get uh, a more uh, like consistent temperature so that you get less warping. Uh, in the end, both of these have great function. You can uh, we can actually add these both onto any enclosure, and uh, and lastly, we also made it so that the filters are super easy to replace. So like this one just has a basket that you pull out, and that takes about five seconds to replace that uh, that HEPA filter in there. This one takes about ten seconds. You just have to pull the the back plate off and I made it so that uh, you can actually order these filters on Amazon super easy and they cost all of about $4 uh, to, to replace and then when you also order it we, we supply you with some extra wire uh, a switch if it's needed and uh, so uh, again this is to get a, a healthier cleaner print environment so the next accessory that we actually uh, build here in-house at uh, Clearview Plastics is our channel lighting. So our channel lighting is designed so that it is can be mounted inside of the enclosure. Uh, and it's super easy to mount with just uh, some pre-applied uh, adhesive. And uh, with it being, a, it's kind of a corner mount. So it actually goes right up into the corner of the enclosure on, on each side on the left side and the right side so that it beams down onto your workpiece. And so these are actually uh, constructed with nice aluminum cha uh, channel. It's got a lens up in front and we, do, we use high quality LEDs. Again, you don't have to be a wiring electronics genius to make this. It's all super plug and play. It comes with these easy to use uh, DC barrel connectors and all you have to do is route the wiring inside and stick them to the, uh, the, the, the top corner of the enclosure and you're good to go. About a 10 minute, five minute setup. So the next accessory that we build here in house at Clearview Plastics are these dampening feet. And the dampening feet, these are designed to go right under the foot pads of your 3D printer. And the way these essentially work they are a multi-material uh, 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 laminate that uh, together actually helps to uh, cancel out vibrations that are going through the from the printer and through the table and possibly into the floor into other rooms. So, if you've ever played tennis, uh, you, you know that it, the, the the tennis racket, you install a little rubber piece in the bottom of the strings to help reduce uh, to help reduce the the tennis racket from vibrating every time you hit the tennis ball. And so that dissimilar material makes it so that it cancels out the vibrations. The same idea is here. We've got cork to uh, for one material. We've got TPU for another material. Inside we have stainless steel and we have rubber on the bottom. So those four materials put together help to reduce the uh, vibrations that are going, coming down through the printer. Again, this is pretty handy, if, especially say if you live in an apartment or if you are 3D printing when there's family around and they don't particularly like the continuous noise of the 3D printer lapping around on your prints, consider these guys. So another option that we have uh, when you're specking out your 3D printer is to upgrade the hardware on your enclosure and then also to upgrade to 3D printed parts. Now, uh, if you want to be able to 3D print your own parts, say like these uh, corner brackets or the mount for the spool holder um, and even uh, like the, the a handle um, and then filament port, uh, the, the, these filament port pass-throughs, you can 3D print these on your own, um, especially if you want to print them in different colors or different materials, you're welcome to do so. We actually provide the STLs with, uh, with your order. Now, if you would like us to 3D print them, we can also do that too. We can include that in your kit. That's an option. All you have to do is click the option and we uh, send out the parts for you uh, uh, for just about all of our enclosures. Now, 
Uh, for the hardware, we actually offer a couple upgrades here too. So like if you're really going for like the commercial grade, the industrial grade, then we can actually offer uh, aluminum door poles, aluminum uh, the aluminum uh, hinges instead of 3D printed hinges, and then heavy duty stainless steel hardware. So the, especially the heavy duty stainless steel hardware, it's got a nicer look to it uh, and just kind of creates a burlier build. So there's one more uh, like thing, if you guys are doing a print farm that you guys just might consider, this is kind of a power user add-on that, uh, that is worth taking a look at. So a uh, 3D print farm here, we actually are using uh, what they call Texas size spools or five kilogram spools. So we make these spool holders to kind of help keep these spools clean and you can actually put some desk in, in there. Um, but I mean, it's hard to see on camera. There we go. These things are just get totally caked with dust. And so this helps to keep your filament clean. And so if you're ever wanting to print with these Texas size spools, like if you're printing a lot, we, these guys print like six and a half days a week. Uh, then that's a great option. We actually make this in two different uh, formats. We've got our vertical style spool holder. Then we actually make these what we call the Lazy Susan. And so these are horizontal spool holders. This is actually the, the newer of, call it, the, the, what we've created for these spools. Um, and these uh, Lazy Susans are totally awesome. I'm a huge fan of these guys. You can actually put these right up on top of the, uh, the, the printer enclosure as well. So that's uh, just something to consider for uh, if you are printing a lot and you have a print farm. And so that's the enclosure for the Bamboo A1 3D printer. This printer is brand new and it's pretty rad. And if you're not familiar with what we do here at Clearview Plastics, we make enclosures for all sorts of uh, 3D printers, laser engravers, desktop CNC machines, custom enclosures. And we've worked with a wide variety of people from your everyday hobbyist to colleges to uh, Fortune 500 companies and everything in between. So if you have any questions or want to check out the enclosures that we make, head on over to clearviewplastic.com, clearviewplasticasingular.com. And uh, you can pop us an email if you have any questions, or we also have a chat client on there too. So again, my name is Neil Henderson, Clearview Plastics. See you later. Peace.